Hello everybody, Craig Peters here from Sound Iron, and on today's video we're going to be discussing the benefits of using Complete Control and S-Series keyboards along with our Made for the Free Contact Player libraries. We have a growing collection of products built to work with Complete Control and S-Series keyboards, and in today's video I'm going to be using my S61 and showing you guys how it integrates with Cubase as well as some other features. So let's check it out. So like I was saying, one of the other really cool things about the Complete Control keyboard is that it works with Cubase, which is what we're going to be using today. So you can do stuff like you can push play, you can enable and disable your metronome, you can quantize, there's automation features, a bunch of different stuff. So it's really handy. You can also mute and solo. All right, so getting started with using the Complete Control keyboard and sound iron libraries. So what you're gonna wanna do is instead of loading up a normal instance of just contact, you're gonna load up an instance of Complete Control. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, once you have this loaded up, pretty much you can just go ahead and use the browser to search through any of our different libraries. So any of your contact player libraries that are for the free player are gonna show up in here. So what you can do is you can also scroll within the browser menu in the keyboard. So let's just go ahead and let's just scroll through and find a library. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and choose Hyperion Strings. Now, once you're in here, you can also preview the different ones. So if you want to So that's really cool because you can, you know, instead of having to load it up and then play and see if you like it or not, you can just actually go ahead and preview. So, so let's go ahead and load up the violins that come with Hyperion Strings Micro. Now once you have this loaded up, there's also different views as well. So if, if let's say you want to see a different view, you want to see the edit view, this allows you to see a little bit more of the uh, what you're used to seeing within Contact. And what I really like about this is that these uh, the light guide that comes with the Complete Control keyboard, it lays out everything. So if, uh, if you look on here on the screen how, you know, between a certain, you know, starting note and ending note, the range of the violins, all of that, it all shows up here and it also lights up as well as you play the, you know, whatever notes you're playing. So one of the things that I really love about how this works with Complete Control is that you have all the different parameters on the screen. And if you want to go and scroll through the different ones, you just use the, the page scroll right here and just go through and it tells you how many pages. So we're on six of 10, seven of 10. And as you're going through each one, you'll see uh, the different one, the different parameters that go within, you know, either the effects tab, the space tab, and you can control all this stuff within this. So let's just go ahead and uh, show you how some of this works. So let's say we wanna go back here to, um, let's say we just wanna add some body, which is right up here. You see uh, the different uh, EQ controls and the different parameter controls. Let's just go ahead and uh, let's add a little bit of body to it. So it's really easy because everything's right here. You can just see it. You don't have to go in here and change it. I mean, that's sort of what you would normally do. But the fact that if you have this keyboard, uh, this is a really, really awesome feature. And then you can just go ahead and use your swell. You can swell here. But having the mod wheel right here, it's a little bit easier. And I tend to prefer this. Now let's go ahead and load up something else. So let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's load up Ape Micro. And like I was saying with the color guide, not only will it sometimes show ranges, sometimes we'll sort of, to make it easier for you guys, we'll color code certain sections so that way when you're actually looking at the keyboard, let's say in contact, normally you would see it on there and then maybe have to remember or just kind of play around to uh, find certain drums. When you use the Complete Control keyboard along with any of our player libraries, they actually show up on the keyboard. So when you see all of these colors, you know that they correspond to a different aspect of the drums. Some more snares and then a little bit more, you know, the, the more clacky kind of stuff. some different parts of the kit. So 
So that's really helpful and it really makes, uh, makes it a lot easier just sort of navigating through the different drums and where everything is. Let's just go ahead and hit record and let's just uh, turn the metronome on. And then let's say we uh, go ahead and open this up and then we have our different drums that we just programmed in. So let's say we highlight all of this and then hit quantize. Now see how everything just kind of quantizes right there. If you'd like to learn more about our other made for the free contact player libraries as well as our other virtual instruments, please make sure to visit soundiron.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.